Welcome back friends, so welcome back on Thursday with a special whiskey cocktail. So today we're doing four cocktails and if you miss my video on Monday when I did review on the Busker Irish whiskey which I'm gonna use today, that's where I promise whatever I review on Monday, the following Thursday I'm gonna start making cocktail with this spirit, liquor, amari, vermouth, whatever, it's on Monday on the Monday drum, okay? So today we're doing four cocktails, two of them really simple, the other two still simple but just a little bit more effort, okay? So without further ado, if you're new to the channel, don't forget you can always subscribe, click the notification bell so you get notified every time when I upload video and of course, don't forget to like whatever you watch, hopefully you will like, I mean, fingers crossed. But if you're ready, let's make four cocktails with Irish whiskey. Okay, my friends, so if you missed my video on Monday where I'm reviewing the Irish whiskey, the Busker Irish whiskey, feel free to watch it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description and make sure you stick around for another reviews because I'm planning every Monday a new one. However, today we're gonna do a cocktails with this Irish whiskey and because we have four whiskeys, we're gonna do four different cocktails. And I'm gonna start with the first one, which is the Super City created by Ronan Collins, which is a Jameson ambassador and it's fairly new created 2019. It's taking on the old fashioned, but obviously replacing the bourbon uh, with the Irish whiskey. And in his case, he used Jameson Stout. Today, we're gonna use the Buskers single malt. Also, he's using uh, raspberry syrup as a sweetener, which I'm gonna replace. And I'm gonna use a plum syrup, which I made at home because I think the plum syrup have more richness and uh, this kind of a wintery flavor which we're looking because the weather is changed so i'm changing this the only ingredients i'm not gonna replace it's the sous liqueur which is gonna play our bitter in this cocktail so if you're ready let's start with the super cd okay my friends so first ingredient today we have the busker single malt which is replacing the original jameson stout then we have the sous liqueur which is exactly like the original recipe from the super cd and finally, I have homemade plum syrup, which is replacing the original raspberry syrup. So if we're ready, let's build a cocktail. The cocktail is built in the mixing glass, so it's not shaken. And we're gonna start with our whiskey. So first of all, we need 45 ml of the Irish whiskey, in this case, Busker single malt. As I mentioned, you can use whatever Irish whiskey you have. So this is 45 ml to ounce and a half. Then we have just a drop, two and a half mil, three mil, like a dash of the sous liqueur because this is gonna just bring a bitterness. And to make it precise, I'm gonna use actually a little bit like a half a bar spoon. That's all. And finally, 10 mil of your syrup, raspberry, or in my case, I'm using a plum syrup, which is made at home. Very thick, very nice plum syrup. And I do prefer the plum with the bitterness of the sous. However, as I mentioned, use raspberry if you want. But now it's time to stir. And while I'm stirring, don't forget you can hit the like button or maybe subscribe to the channel. It's up to you. Give it a good stir. You wanna chill this cocktail very good because it's pretty much like a straight up, like a whiskey, okay? With a, just a little bitterness from the sauce and that's it. So you won't dilute it much, but you want to give it a good chill because it's going to be served over ice. So it's absolutely fine. It's not served straight up. That should be fine. Oh, wonderful. Now grab your glass. So serve over ice, fill up your glass with ice, or if you have by any chance, or if you made some clear ice, a big chunk of ice will do perfect the job. Get your strainer, let's move this bar spoon, and just serve the cocktail. Look at that wonderful color, it's fantastic. If you use raspberry syrup, it could be a little bit lighter in color, but because of the plum, we have a really rich kind of a pinky red color. And finally, to garnish is just a nice, good strip of orange. Just squeeze the zest on the top, a little bit rim on the glass. Just kind of a 
you know, squeeze it and drop inside. And this, my friends, is the Super CD. Now, this is my version, as I mentioned. Original one required Jameson Stout, Seuss and Raspberry Syrup. This is a riff, but still equal fantastic. So let's try it. Oh, I can drink that all day. Absolutely. But before I do, let's move to the next cocktail. Okay, we're gonna make the Dublin Spider Highball. Yes, Highball, you know I like my Highball, so I wanted to present this to you because it's a fairly easy. It's only Irish whiskey, ginger ale and Angostura bitter. Again, don't forget you can use your Irish whiskey which you have, but today I'm gonna use the single pot steel from the Buskers, which is fantastic for a Highball in my personal opinion. And if you wanna find more about the testing and the aromas notes, don't forget to watch my video from this Monday or just check down link in the description I'll leave it so you can see each one of these whiskies which I'm using today their flavor profile and a little bit more about the actual whiskey and actual liquid in the bottle so straight away forward fill up your glass with ice or use one of those spears whatever you decide then we have a good two ounces of your Irish whiskey in this case the single pot steel from the buskers just put over the ice. Oops, going away. And we know this anymore, we don't need this measure. We just need a dash of Angostura, dash or two. I do like to have a dash, two, and sometimes three. Give it a little stir, just to incorporate a little bit of bitter inside. Leave your bar spoon inside because you're gonna need it to give a gentle stir with your ginger ale. So top up with ginger ale. And just a really gentle stir, just kind of a, like a mixing up and down. So you can mix lovely the whiskey with the ginger ale. Take off your bar spoon, fill up a little bit more. And finally garnish with a lovely wedge of lime. That's all it is. You don't need to squeeze it. You can put one or two pieces whatever you fancy I do like two pieces inside and if you want you can serve it with a straw or you can serve it as it is I will serve it with a straw so I can give a little stir just this lime to release a little bit of the oil and this is it my friends this is the second cocktail which is the Dublin Spider Highball let's give it a test a highball a highball it's a highball now if you like uh, like I do my highballs they're fantastic for like during the day don't go too early but it's a lovely refreshing drink if you want to have like a quick kind of aperitivo afternoon or even even evening if you want to have just a quick refreshing drink but you're not fancy of the strong kick of the whiskey you want to kind of melt it down a little bit with the ginger ale dryness a little bit bitter from the angostura and lovely zest from the lime fantastic so let's move to the next cocktail the next cocktail is called tipperary so you can maybe find tipperary number one tipperary number two there's a lots of uh, recipes i'm gonna do the original from 1916 from Anslin's book okay you may find some which it's uh higher up the level of the whiskey and lower down the other ingredients uh, different ratios but the original recipe require equal measurements of whole three okay and this is gonna be a nice boozy and you know i like boozy so we start with 30 ml one ounce of irish whiskey in this case i'm using the single grain from the buskers again use your favorite irish whiskey then you have vermouth rosso i'm using vermouth de torino 30 ml or one ounce again and finally the kick of the cocktail this is one ounce or 30 ml of green chartreuse. All this is gonna be stirred and served in a chilled Nick and Nora glass, garnished with a lovely maraschino cherry. Let's put some ice. Give it a good stir. Stir for about I don't know, 10, 20 seconds. Make sure it's chilled really good, the cocktail, because it's 
light strong, it's a boozy cocktail, very delicious, but not for the light hearted, okay? Beautiful. Yes, we are ready, so I need my glass from the freezer. So here we are, a chilled glass from the freezer, and of course, just strain this cocktail. Beautiful. This is a proper boozy cocktail, as I mentioned, so make sure you don't make too many of them, okay? And finally, a maraschino cherry. Just on the top, a lovely maraschino cherry, just like that. And this is the Tipperary, boys and girls. Uh, a lovely boozy cocktail, the exact way I like them. So let's try it. Oh, this is just fantastic. The single grain, it's worked fantastic here, but I can see that working lovely with the Jameson Stout edition or your favorite Irish whiskey. And of course, the sweetness from the vermouth rosso with the botanical flavor. And you can beat the green chartreuse coming in to bring all these, you know, herbal flavors. And it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's boozy, but it's so soft to drink. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, one more cocktail left. So let's jump to it. Okay, last cocktail, I'm changing the whiskey, of course, I'm bringing the last one of the Busker Irish whiskey, which is the triple cask, triple smooth. I'm keeping the vermouth, because we're gonna need it, I'm keeping the chartreuse, but I'm introducing Falernum liqueur as well. So this cocktail, it's again a boozy, straightforward, fantastic, lovely uh, sip, so we're gonna need to stir it, no shaking here. I'm gonna grab my other mixing glass, and let's go with the ingredients. Now, this is pretty much whiskey orientated. Everything else is just to bring a little bit of flavor and balance to the cocktail. So we have 60 ml or two ounces of your Irish whiskey. In this case, I'm using the triple cask, triple smooth from Buskers. Again, use your favorite Irish whiskey. Then we have a sweet vermouth, 7.5 ml, 7.5 ml of green chartreuse, and finally, we have 7.5 ml of the Falernum. And this is it. We're gonna fill it up with ice, the mixing glass, give it a good stir, and serve in a chill cup glass. All right, let's give it a good stir. Again, stir for at least 20 seconds here because you need very good chill cocktail and to give a little bit of dilution to the cocktail. And now I need my chilled glass from the freezer. Okay, this is my cup where we're gonna serve. I need my strainer. And let's serve this wonderful golden color cocktail. Beautiful. For garnish, this cocktail recommends a very thin slice of lemon or dehydrated lemon just floating on the top. So I'm gonna cut a really like a very thin slice and I'm just gonna put it on the top to float, hopefully. There you go. And there you have it, Detroit Athletic Club. That's the name of the cocktail. Let's give it a sip. Again, a wonderful, oh, it's just, man, you know, I wish, I mean, I really want to see if you make these cocktails, please, because especially the last two, they're, they may be boozy, but they're fantastic balanced cocktail, so nice to drink, it's just absolute pleasure, and if you make them home, please, don't forget, you can share on Instagram and just tag me, okay? Just shake or steer. Just tag me in your stories or your post. Let me see what cocktails you're making from the channel when you're watching. Give me a shout, okay? 
and leave me a comment down because I really want to know if you try at least one or maybe all of these cocktails because seriously they are fantastic the first two is very light and very kind of a straightforward to enjoy you know party or just for relax these two wonderful for after dinner or maybe just in a company having a nice chat and just enjoying a lovely balanced cocktail so this is it my friends this is it uh, four cocktails with irish whiskey again i hope you're gonna try them leave me a comment don't forget to like the video don't forget you can always subscribe hit the notification bell so you know what's happening with the channel i'll see you on monday with another monday drum reviewing a different spirit maybe liqueur who knows you see but until then have a wonderful weekend go make some cocktails and as always i love you and i leave you now bye bye